Welcome back to my last video on the um, on the architectural diagram. Um, what we are going to build today is going to be based on the prediction service. Okay, so the prediction service, what it does is that it consumes messages from the input topic and then downloads our model file or the pickle file from S3 bucket and then put it in a temporary um, location and then use that to make prediction on the incoming data. Once a prediction is done, then um, it writes the output to the output topic, okay? Um, so it produces message to the output topic. So this service is both um, a consumer and a producer at the same time, okay? Consume messages and produces message, okay? So that is what we are going to be looking at. So let's uh, jump right into the IDE. Um, from the previous video, you can see that I created this folder called prediction service. So this is where I'm going to put in all the, the files that we need. Okay. I'm going to start with the requirements.txt file. Requirements.txt. It's going to be empty for now. I'm going to create the Docker file as always. I'm also going to create the build.sh, build.sh. And um, I'm going to create a package, Python package called uh, Kafka message. Okay. And um, inside that, I'm going to create um, a Python file called Kafka underscore msg okay and um inside this i'm going to create a new directory called manifest where we are going to store our manifest files and inside that i'm going to put in the our deployment dot yaml file okay and um yeah inside this uh prediction service i'm going to create our main file which is which we are going to call app.py and then um lastly i'm going to create another one called uh, config.py um and um, i think we need another one called the predictor predictor dot py okay so this is all we need in our prediction um service um order okay um so i'm going to start with the kafka first so um i have the okay let me start with the requirement of txt first sorry um requirements you gotta paste in um our requirements so you can see we need the flux numpy scikit kafka and bottle three okay that's all we need in that file I'm gonna close that now docker file um it's also gonna be straightforward i created that so i'm just gonna paste and explain um, so we're using this base image, the working directory, we're copying the requirement.txt, we are installing whatever is in there, and we're copying all the files. Um, I think I will need git ignore, git ignore. No, let me see, docker ignore file. Okay, created. So that I can ignore some files like... Uh, the manifest, I, I don't need a build.sh. What else I don't need? Yeah, I think these are the two files I don't need. Yeah, so I think that is it. I'm going to close that. And then we run app.py using this command, okay? So that's all we need. 
And uh, in the Kafka underscore message dot py, um, I'm going to copy the code that I've written and then explain it. Okay, so I'm pasting. Okay, so this is the import. And then um, uh, we're importing Kafka producer and Kaf Kafka consumer. Remember, this service is both a consumer and a producer at the same time. Okay, so once we do that, um, we need our Kafka topics. Okay, so basically this is it. Uh, let me do some cleanup exercise. Okay. So these are all the input, output, and then the bootstrap server, okay? These are global variables that we've declared. We can put this global variable in um, in a config map, but let's just put it this way for now, okay? And um, let's declare our consumer and producer, okay? So this is our consumer. consumer and um, our producer, okay. And with our consumer, we have a group ID. This is the topic, the bootstrap server, and then the auto offset reset, the earliest, whichever comes first is what we are going to process, okay. So the earliest. We don't want the latest. We could have specified the latest, but that is, it won't work for us in this case, okay? And this is our producer. It only takes the bootstrap server and then the API version. That's it, that's all for our... And I'm also going to define two functions, consume and produce, okay? Um, so we have two functions, one is, consuming message and then the other one is producing message. So you can see that we are looping, we are using the while loop and then for messaging consumer, we, we wanna keep loading the message and decoding it and returning that message, okay? That is all this function is doing. And then the producer is also taking messages and producing to the um, output Kafka topic and then encoding it, okay? And then we log that information and then slip one second and continue. Okay, so that is all for this um, package, okay? Um, and inside the config, um, we're gonna put in some global variables. Okay. So I'm going to paste that in. I think we did that in our last video, but for this service, it's also different. So I'm going to paste that in. Um, this is the model name, the bucket name, the access key, secret key, and then the S3 bucket location, and then the model local storage path. Okay, so this is where we are storing the path in our in our container. Okay, so that that is that. And um, the next thing is the predictor, okay? The predictor is gonna be a bit long, but I'm gonna explain it. Okay, so let's do the imports, the necessary imports. So these are the imports. This is also the import, the access key, secret key, bucket key, name, bucket name, model, local storage path. We're importing all this from the config.py file. And then we set up our logger. And because we are training Iris, Iris model, it has three classes, which is the Setosa, Vesicala, and Virginica. So these are the three labels that we are predicting on. So we are going to define a class. Um, so I'm going to paste that class in and explain what is going on. Okay. 
So we have a class defined as Python predictor. And um, this one is the S3. We are instantiating the S3 um, bucket class. And that is taking some um, arguments or parameters, the S3, the access key, and then the secret key. These are the import. And then we are loading, we are opening that temporary file which contains the the model.pickle okay and then we are writing it as a byte and once we do that we want to download that object from the s3 bucket and store it at this location okay so this is going to write a message and say downloading file from s3 bucket okay so we need this is what we are just downloading that file so each time our model changes, we put a model on S3 bucket. Each time there is um, a prediction happening, it's going to download that new model.pickle file. Okay. You can even version, give versions to this uh, model.pickle file, but we are not doing that in this video. And um, we are doing try catch and some reception. And here we are loading the model using the pickle.load model and read it as a byte from this um, location. Once we have our model, we define in another function called predict, and that takes a payload. And um, that payload takes the separate length, the separate width. It's a dictionary, it comes as a dictionary. So we are just extracting the values using the keys okay so once we do that we put that in a list okay and um, once we put that in the list we call the model that we're loading up here and making a prediction on it using the measurement list and once we do that we are, we are extracting the the index for that prediction okay so once we grab that uh, label id so let's say the ID that is returned is zero. So it's going to be labels zero, okay? And label zero is going to be this first element. So if it's labels one, it's going to be this element. And labels um, two is going to be virginica, okay? So that will be our prediction. So here we are not returning the probability for our prediction. Okay, we are just extracting that first element. Okay, so basically that is the predictor um, explained. Um, yeah, so I think that is that. So with the build.sh, um, that is also going to be straightforward because we did that earlier on. Um, so I'm going to paste that in and explain. So this is what we are calling our model. Iris model micro v115. And then we push it to our Docker Hub Iris model micro v115. Okay, so that is all we're doing here. So the last thing that we need to um, consider is the app.py. Okay. Um, app.py is going to be very long, but I'll, I'm going to explain it. So let's paste in the imports. So these are the imports. Um, I don't think we need. Okay, so this is our import. Okay. And um, I'm going to paste in the logger and uh, the topics, the capital topic. So this is our input topic, output, and the bootstrap server. And also let's define our consumer and producer. Um, I think we did it in the this package, but I don't think we are going to use it. So I decided to ignore that. You can you can do this and then call it this way but we are not going to use it. We are just going to declare it um, up here. Um, once we do that, I think we need 
the group ID. Let me add the group ID as Iris prediction. That's it. Um, and then um, once we do that, I'm going to define a main function. Okay. So this main function, what it's doing here is um, we are making use of the logger and this is going to print a uh, loading model and um, we're using the Python predictor class and then assigning it to a model object. And then we're printing another message called consuming message from Kafka topic. Okay. And uh, we're using the while loop for messaging consumer. Let's print this information and then get the message, decode it, use the json.load method, and then we put it into consume message, okay? Once you consume that message from the input topic, um, mm -hmm. we print another message called uh, making prediction or consume message. And we say what model.predict, and then we pass in the consume message, okay? Um, this message is going to be in the form of a JSON, okay? Um, there are cases where we need to uh, make sure that um, the message, the messages that are coming to the Kafka topic follow some uh, standards, okay? That is where the schema registry comes in. And that schema registry is built into Kafka, okay? So if we want to validate um, the message or the data that is coming into our topic, we need to use the schema registry. But in this video, I'm, I'm not going to do anything around schema registry that is going to verify the type of data that is coming into our Kafka topic, okay? That, that is going to be on a separate video, okay? Just comment below if you think I should do something around schema registry, okay? But here, um, we are not doing anything of that nature. We are not checking the type, but we just want to give you the idea how things looks like so that you can go to that extra mile of validating your, your data that is coming into your Kafka topic, okay? Once we predict on that consume message, we assign it to another variable called prediction, and we're checking if there is a prediction. Um, we want to grab the data that came in. So the data that came in is in this form, and then we, we're changing it to a float, and then assigning it to this variable. But at the end of the day, we're putting everything in a dictionary, okay, in a JSON form. Okay, so and we're giving it a status of 200. We're generating a model ID using the UUID. Um, the prediction also, we're putting it into this variable called prediction. And um, the model type is what? Logistic regression model. And the time at which the, the prediction was created. And then another message called success. Um, you, can, you can design this response in a way that you feel like, okay? Um, so I think that is it. Um, if we had a schema registry, um, we wouldn't be doing all these floats, all this. We wouldn't be checking and making sure that the type are the right types. Um, the schema registry is going to um, validate all these um, types for us. But because we are not validating it, we need to put it in the right uh, format, okay, that Kafka can consume, okay? And um, once we do that, we print something called sending prediction to output topic, and that is going to take the response. And then we now produce that message to our output Kafka topic. Uh, we dump it as a JSON and then encode that message. Okay, else we want to say that model failed to make predictions. And um, if you want to do extra work, extra work of sending that data to MongoDB, you can do that or Kibana or Grafana. This is where you want to do that. 
Okay, you want to send your response to um, a sync or your final destination. Okay, you can send this response to a MongoDB, Grafana, whatever, or Kibana, whatever you want to send that final message. Okay. Um, so finally, we want to create a call that main function. So I'm going to say main and then um, paste in the the code. Okay, so this is where we are calling that main function above. Okay. Yeah, so I think this is the function we're calling down there. Yeah, so I think that is all for um, this uh, function. The last thing I want to consider is the deployment. So I also created a deployment. I'm just going to paste in the the deployment and the name is what Iris Model Micro. And um, the image we are looking at is what Iris Model Micro V115. Okay. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. So basically that is all for this uh, prediction service. Okay. So in our last video, I'm going to show you how you can run all these four services, okay? Auth service, gateway service. Um, I think we already, I already showed you how you can run the model training service. Um, and then the last service is the prediction service. I will show you how to run this as well. So we have one, two, three services to run, okay? So once I show you how to run all these three services, um, that will conclude the video and um, I'm going to push the code to GitHub and then you can get it as uh, get access to the download, okay? And then you go out and practice with it. Um, until then, um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.